Well, I've been rapping for about three years now, man. And uh, I've been making beats for about four. So in all, about seven years, you know? Seven so, years. Seven more years. How did you get involved with making beats? Like, what was it where you was like, yo, I'm gonna make some fucking beats, man? Well, I got this old ass DR, yo. Right, right. And I was just hey, yo, I, I know what a DR is, but I need you to tell the world. Look at the camera, son. Tell these niggas what a DR is. A DR basically is just like a little beat machine, basically. Right. And you know, it's, it's a digital, uh, they got a little few digital little knobs on it. I mean, it ain't gonna give you no power like you expect. But, but you gotta go through the DR yeah, and that's get what it you got. Really, that's what you really gotta play with to get nice with the midis and all of that right. shit. You know what I'm saying? So, really, man, I caught me a little DR, yo, with some cheap shit, too, yo. And I got nice with it, man, and. Then I bought me, uh, what I get next? I think I got Fruity Boots next, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what a lot of people get, you know what I'm saying? Then I started messing with that reason a little bit. I took a course and shit at, uh, at this, this music creative school and shit. And they had me fucking with the reason. But uh, I like, I mean, really, I like, I like the loops. I like Fruity Boots, so. Cause they, they keep it as simple as possible, you know what I'm saying? For you to do something that nobody would ever expect, you know? And, and as long as you got your, you know, a powerful MIDI and a nice sound card, you know what I'm saying? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, so you. I mean, I don't know if you want to reveal. Really, I ain't gonna let you reveal your whole technique, the niggas, because they'll be trying to run behind you, making them hot beats. But yeah. you usually what you what you rock with as far as equipment. We ain't gonna go into your technique. You uh, know, what I'm saying we gonna go into what you use. Well, you know, you see my mic. You know, what I'm saying I got the uh, got the G track Samsung mic. I do all my uh, all my mastering here. Uh, I got the Casio 700. You know, what I'm saying MIDI. Right, right. You know what I mean? Really, yo, really, man, it's just this Casio, you know what I'm saying? The Casio, it's a, that's the powerful joint, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna put out that, put out that, that right power you're looking for for the 4 you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the, the, the Fruity Loops, you just midi it up with that Casio? Yeah. And go basically. in on that? Yeah. When I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, when I'm here, yo, like I said, I, I go to a studio at my school, you know what I'm saying? And we can make a few beats there, you know, and it's, it's just a lot more... Like, in depth, you know. What Yo, I'm build, build on that school for a minute. Don't give too much because the niggas have got to pay for promotion. Yeah. But you know, yeah, you, yeah. you you know what I'm saying. You in school right now, right? Yeah. What you uh, going there for again? What, what's that? I go there for web design and uh, digital arts uh, management, and I do like uh, electronic engineering. It's like fuck out of here, man. Yeah, man. It's like five different things, man. I'm an AV technician. Okay, so you going in? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I got a, I got my bachelor's degree in electronic engineering. Okay. Uh, Y'all hear that man? That nigga Doug, and he's smart, man. It sound like Sun Moo. Yeah, yeah. Heard yeah. me? You gotta grind, man. I'm tired, man. I'm trying to get on. <laughs> trying to get on? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You know what I mean? In the, in the school, really, man, they they make it real flexible for you to go. You know what I mean? You know, it's just you know. Yeah, you gotta get that education in, man. Cause at the end of the day, everybody's not gonna be a rapper, yo. Yo, shit like you winning can, the lottery, baby. Yeah, man. You can you can be the nicest nigga in the world, but your grind is just just you know you're not grinding at all, man. And you end up with all that all them CDs, letting your son hear it, like look, look, that's what I could have been. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that shit is mad funny. And I'm telling you, cause it's you, a lot of niggas washed up like that. They yeah. thought in their mind. That they was the nigga. Yeah. And you thought just because in your mind the world know who you is, yeah. man. And it's not like you know that what I'm at saying? all, man. You got to put that time in, that grind, man. And, and when you feel, you feel, by that time you feel tired, that's when you know, you know what I'm saying, that you grinded like you was supposed to. Exactly, you know exactly. You know, the, the one that the one that promotes the most, the one that grinds the most, the smart, the smart way yeah. is the one that's going to get ahead and succeed. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Product, power, and promotion. Yeah, if you ain't on your shit the correct way, because you could be doing a whole lot of something for nothing. Yeah, yo. You know what I'm saying? Just dropping thousands of mixtapes, you know what I'm saying? For what? For what, yo? You know what I'm saying? People forgot day. what they use them for. You know, mixtapes, them shits wasn't like, them shits was just filler material. Exactly. Between albums. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because they, they got it twisted because so many niggas now is getting rich off a little mixtapes and shit like Gucci, you know, he made the mixtape game looks all fabulous, you know. When really it's only a handful of artists that's really eating off the mixtapes like that. You know? Right, right. And if you ain't got your digital hustle right, it don't even matter then, you know what I'm saying? Because you can have your, your mixtape loaded up seven different places, you know what I'm saying? But if them shits is all free, you know what I mean? And... And you know what I'm saying, you have no no kind of income coming in and you paying for studio time and you paying for beats. 
Talk to him, son. Yeah, you ain't doing nothing but digging a hole for yourself at the end of the day. Talk to him, son. Hey, yo, but I mean, you know, so that's what I said. The mixtape should be promoting the next album. Yeah, yo. And yeah, basically that's what that is. Like, all right, I'll drop maybe, like me, myself, yo. Include, not even include my new shit coming out. I got three mixtapes out. Right. I know I dropped more tracks than that. Right. I, you know what I'm saying? I got three mixtapes out to the world. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. Because that's all I want to give them right now until my new album drop from Hood to Hollywood next weekend. Right. You know what I'm saying? When my new album drop, it's just going to be crazy as hell. You know right, right, right. And, and it, that's just because my mixtape is just buzzing like it's supposed to be. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, your, your shit look... This shit look together, man. You know what I'm saying? Went to your MySpace, you know what I'm saying? RapWorld.com. We be, we be looking at shit when everybody be in the bed. We be doing our research. We be on our grind so much. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your cover, your shit is correct with your cover. Yeah. Your music, you feel me? Yeah. You rarely find that where a nigga shit be packaged up right. That's another thing. And we doing shit for the ladies, too. You know what I'm saying? We still got hard hip-hop, but you know what I'm saying? We make shit for the ladies, too. Yeah. So really, man... Niggas ain't buying music. You know, niggas don't buy no yeah, fucking music, man. Get your head right, man. Niggas not buying music, man. Throw it out. Time to get right, man. So tell us, uh, you know, the new album. How many cuts you got on the new album? You done with it or you you still trying to seal it up? You got a few uh, more to do? I'm working on my last track right now, you know what I'm saying, as we speak. You know what I'm saying? And right, I, right. And I got about... I got about 15 tracks on my new shit. 15 tracks. Straight crack, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So if, um, like, you know what I'm saying, Embassy Entertainment, that's your label. Who would you like to do a distribution deal with if that came about? Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers? Yeah. Why Warner Brothers, man? Because, man, I see a lot of artists that get on with them, and they just give them money, and they let them, they, they let them be free. You know what I'm saying? They don't, once they give you that money, they don't put no handcuff on you and all of that shit. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? They they give you your bread and they lie, you know what I'm saying? Go hustle and go do what you do. And a lot of a lot of other labels, like, they'll give you your money, but it's a but at the end of that check. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you got to, you got might have to do this and that, dress up in a clown costume. You know what I'm saying? It's just other crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? So you want to be able to go, look, you said one of brothers is, Gonna let you continue to be the monster tennis stacks that came through the door. Yeah, exactly. I ain't gotta switch over my music. I'm not having to get on these down south beats, you know what I'm saying, in order to, you know, sell. You ain't gotta wear little shirts and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, none of that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Word. yeah, man. That ain't skinny jeans and shit. Come on, man, cut that shit out, man. Skinny jeans. But for real, yo, like, like for real, like, all these niggas is getting on the auto tunes and shit, like, just cause it's, just cause, you know what I'm saying, like, so if this nigga put on a dress, you gonna go put on one too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word up. I never you'll never no, I ain't gonna say never because you never know I might get on some shit with Wayne and that nigga auto tuning it up. Yeah. But you'll never hear my tennis stacks on no auto tune because that's just not me, you know what I'm saying? I mean you know how people do with the trends and shit, they feel like yo, this nigga right here is successful with the auto tune yeah, shit. See, yeah, see. So another nigga wanna go auto tune that's it what up. I'm saying if this nigga if Jay Z wore a dress out on stage and everybody was smelling it. <laughs> Y'all do that too. Fuck out of here with that yeah, shit, man. man. Niggas got to, at the end of the day, yo, you got to make yourself, and you got to, who, who are you at the end of the day? You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. Word up, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta do your own thing, create your own lane. Yeah. And that's why people going to appreciate you. Yeah, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I was like, I heard your music. I'm like, yo, that shit sound different. Yeah, yo, and word up. Man. Like, that shit don't sound like, you know what I mean? That yeah. shit is still hard. But you got them hooks and all that shit and the ball. And that shit is just like making a, a move, you know what I'm saying? And like, and, and what it is, man, like when you go to my, uh, you go to like on that Pippa song, you know what I'm saying? You can uh, comment, yeah, do that, you know what I'm saying? Comment my music, hit me up. Yeah. But on the comments, a lot of people say, I like Stacks because he uh, his originality, you know what I'm saying? Right. He's original. And, and that that's basically what I do. Like when I get in the booth, I'm like, I'm about to go make a track. For the club, or I'm about to make you just going there what you feel exactly what I feel that day, and it just so happens to make them dance, you know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. Well, bro. you know, it's the groove in that fucking music, too, though. Yeah, and your beats that's the shit that you know, what I'm saying I be seeing the shorties, they be dancing to the shit in the yep. club, like that hypnotic shit. So that's a motherfucking hit, B. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know motherfucking Montana stacks from that so hypnotic shit, man. Yep. Y'all check them out on raplord.com, man. Yeah, Stop man. fucking around, man. Look at that 